I've been waiting for this. You are a human worthy of me. Now come, let's have some fun. The last door appeared. Okay. All right, so this is me from the future recording the commentary afterwards because I wasn't gonna bother um, explaining how the fight works uh, 10 times because it took me a while to beat Margaret and Theo. But first we're gonna do Margaret. There's my equipment. I showed you my personas. Um, you can pause if you wanna see. This seems to be the door where Margaret awaits. Margaret is waiting within. You can create any party you wish. You feel a terrifying presence. Are you sure you wish to enter? Of course. All right. So I started with my auto, uh, but we're gonna be using Messiah. The only skills I have that I can use are Mind Charge, Salvation, and Megidoleon. And I do have uh, Morningstar, which is a really powerful version of Megidoleon, but Messiah has magic skill up, which actually makes Megidoleon on Messiah po more powerful than Morningstar on, like, Hellel or whoever else. Um, so, here's the deal. She has five phases. Ten turns per phase. She gets two attacks per turn. Um, in the first phase is actually the hardest. Uh, I lost a bunch on this phase. Um, in this phase, she can only be damaged by uh, almighty attacks or the other two physical attacks that she didn't use. So say she uses Primal Force, we can use Strike Attacks or Slash Attacks, but she will absorb uh, Pierce Attacks. Um, and, you know, vice versa. What's super deadly is if she gets a critical, because then uh, she will get another turn on top of her two turns. So pretty necessary, in my opinion, to have Akihiko, Yukari, and Aegis. I guess you could settle for uh, switching Aegis out, but only if you had, like, another character use um, buffs as well, but, like, item buffs, maybe? Um, Aegis is kind of a liability, to be honest, uh, because she's the only one who can be targeted by weakness. Um, because her ultimate armor doesn't uh, block the weakness. Everyone else has armor of light, which uh, makes uh, you resistant to all magic, so that no one has a weakness anymore, but that's not true for Igus. Um, but she has buffs, so she's staying in. We're using buffs and debuffs, and the reason we need to do that is because um, she, we need to deal 5,000 damage per phase or she will just use Megidoleon and kill us all. She, she does use Megidoleon later in this fight, but it's, uh, Atropos using Megidoleon. Uh, the super de deadly Megidoleon, believe it or not, is actually Pixie. So if she brings out Pixie, the fight is just over. Um, but that is not going to happen. Um, because we beat her with her. Um, and her phases are not, again, her phases are not damage-based. It doesn't matter how much damage you do to her. Um, it, it, it's not like you do this amount of damage to her and she goes to her next phase. It's all turn-based. So she gets 10 turns in one and then she switches. And, uh, once she gets to turn 51, she will wipe out your entire party. So she wipes out your entire party, um, with Maggie Do Doleon. You can't. Um, I mean, I guess you could block it with infinity, but then you just die on the next turn anyway. See my power. Plus, we need those infinities for Theo. Um. So, my primary source of damage here 
is almighty because I didn't want to worry about uh, figuring out which attack is which. I mean, we know what it is. Uh, Great Blade and Corporal Blade are Slash, uh, Myriad Arrows, and Primal Force is Pierce, and God's Hand and Akasha Arts is Strike. And that's the most deadly one because she attacks twice, uh, everyone twice, and that's super bad if they get a critical. Um, I did my best to reduce the chances of us getting a critical, speaking of criticals. I guess I've taken heavy damage. I summon you. Um, and I, I, I was really kicking myself for throwing out the, um, Sigma drives because they would have helped everyone else a lot. Uh, because they decrease your chances of sustaining a critical. I, of course, can't take criticals because I have uh, Absorb Pierce, Absorb Slash, and Absorb Strike on. I saw one guide saying that uh, I can still she'll kill you if you do that. That only applies to Theo. Um, it does not apply to Margaret. So I use Absorb uh, all physical attacks because I want to reduce the chances of me getting a critical. So my allies are the only ones who can. Maybe you should do something about it, Fuka. No. But yeah, this phase is, in my opinion, I've regained my honor. The most difficult, which I guess is a good thing because it's uh, better to lose in the beginning rather than get all the way to the end and then have her last phase. Um, just fight you out. You have to do the whole thing over again. I can still fight. Also, you know, I just got Igus's weapon, and this is the earliest I can get her weapon in the female root, uh, that is, as if I'm doing, um, all social links, which I, of course, am. Uh, she, uh, heals from her debuff super quickly because she gets two turns. So this is all Akihiko is doing the whole time, is, is debuffing her. Um, uh, and I said you have to do 5,000 damage per phase, and that's... It's actually... You can do a little bit under that, but you have to make up for it in the next phase or she kills you. So if you do like um, 4,500 damage in the first phase, you have to do uh, 5,500 damage in the next one. Luckily, it's a lot easier to do damage in the next phase. Hang in there. I cannot lose. And all following phases. Um, by the way, uh, since it goes by turns, and, and this is her next phase, the next phase is, uh, status ailments. Um, I have unshaken will, um, which is, you either need unshaken will or you need to use, uh, magic mirrors, because if you get everyone charmed, <laughs> then they'll just heal her. And you'll have to start the whole thing over, and you probably... I, I mean, you're gonna die because you have to do all that damage again. And it's just not gonna happen. Um... But the thing is, I actually left the poison on because... Here. 
And you can use these. You can use Tetrakarn, Macrokarn, uh, and Magic Mirrors in this fight. Uh, you just need to be careful with her next phase because next phase is when she starts absorbing stuff. But in this phase, um, it will just uh, reflect right back at her. Like this. Um, also, so as I was saying, uh, I kept them poisoned because if they are uh, already inflicted with a status ailment, she's not going to keep using status ailments and she will use, uh, like you just saw, Magardine and stuff, and we will be able to reflect the damage right back at her and do a lot of damage to her. Um, and I think in this phase you can, you can attack her with pretty much anything. Um... But anyway, yeah, you either need un Unshaken Will uh, so you won't be inflicted with mental ailments like Charm, or you need um, uh, to have a Magic Mirror on at all times. Take this! using all my magic mirrors because uh, she keeps reflecting uh, back at us. If all your party members are infuriated, uh, she does use that too. That also might be to your advantage um, because they'll just do a lot of damage to her. No, 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 no. But this is also doing a lot of damage to her and she's not going to use infuriate uh, unless we are all out of, it, unless we're uh, all healed from status ailments, and if I did that, uh, she was, wouldn't use her magic attacks that would reflect back at her. Um, so I just kept it like this. Um, but that is something that you could use to your advantage: is the infuriate, especially if uh, you have like unshaken will on uh, your main character. So if they need healing, you can just do it for them. But in this game, Infuriate is pretty OP uh, because it's, well, not, not the skill Infuriate, uh, but Rage. If you use it on yourself, you get two turns. <laughs> It's really good, Margaret. Thanks for asking. Uh-oh. Uh -huh. Well, that dodge electricity did come in handy. dodge your attacks, and it's really annoying when she does. Um, so that's why I keep debuffing her. No, 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 no. And, and yeah, she never stops saying that. On some like ethereal 
uh, dimensional space, but it really just looks like we're standing on a carpet. I lose. Velvet, maybe? No, no. She just keeps bringing out Kitty. How's this? They should have thought more about, um, well, given, given everyone some more variety in their voice lines, because often when these characters are attacking, Akihiko will be like, I won't lose. And then Yukari will say, I won't lose. And then Agus will say, I can't lose. I just uh, use a disc poison at this point because we're in the next yeah. phase. Oh wait, no, that might be later. Wasn't paying attention to my own video. <laughs> Case in point. She gets to 130 HP. Some people like to just use Armageddon. And I mean, I guess that's one way you could do it, but we are doing enough damage to her uh, with the um, magic mirrors and attack mirrors that we don't even need to worry about it. We can just defeat her straight up. We just gotta be careful here. I should have been counting the turns. Um, because the next phase she's going to absorb everything. And we don't want her HP restored, but it's okay. I guess I remembered that I could just attack with Thunder Rain and it would do more damage than Megidoleon because um, I have a Lek boost and a Lek amp. I won't lose. If you're wondering why I'm using Akasha Arts instead of God's Hand, it's because Akasha Arts uh, attacks twice. All right, and this is the third phase. She's fine. Okay, so in this one, she uses a, a lot of really powerful Makamas, uh, or uh, Mitamas, um, and they all have, like, uh, corresponding elements, you know, electricity, fire, ice, wind, you're familiar, um, and she can only be damaged by the opposing element of the last one she uses. So here, it's going to be ice, 
and I have all a lot with uh, Nilfheim, so that's gonna do a lot of damage to her. Uh, this one has ice amp and ice boost. Be careful. Um, that was less than Thunder Rain because I hadn't used my charge. Um, okay? But I just do mind charge on a turn where I don't have the opposing element. Like if she uses electricity, I don't have a uh, wind. So So I just like use mind charge or whatever or Megi Dolion. Um but if uh, I can use ice or thunder cuz I brought those personas with me, uh, I just I do it because it's more damage. If you wanted to bring, uh, like, each corresponding persona with you, you could. Like, you could bring Norn with Pantere, uh, or pass on Norn's skill to a different persona. Like I did with All a lot. It's it's Scotty who has uh, Nilfheim. I guess has taken um, damage. But I passed it on to a more powerful persona and also leveled it up a bunch because you know why not? Um, I was leveling up everyone else and had that persona to level up to. I can still fight. Uh, and then the fire one would be Inferno that you get from Cert. But Cert is a pretty low level persona at this point, so you would want to pass it on to something higher level. Or maybe not. Maybe you could just use it, but I wouldn't recommend it. use magic mirrors in this part because she'll just absorb it. Thunder Rain comes from Thor? Either Thor or Odin, I can't remember. But either way, I passed it on to Byako, and then I did a bunch of shit, and I turned it into or a Messiah, and then I turned that into Orbeus Telos. Uh, it's super complicated and annoying in Persona 3 because you can't choose the skills, you just have to keep going back, and ugh, it's annoying. Um, but I did it. Uh, I... Actually, I think what I did is I passed it on to Thanatos. And then I fused Messiah from that. And then I fused Orpheus Telos from that. Or something along those lines. I don't remember. And at that, at that point, I remember that I don't have to be poisoned anymore. Hang in there.
Marcus can't move. She's been shocked. I switched to the wrong one. But I guess it doesn't matter. I can still fight. looking at the guide to refresh my memory in this fight and the one that said uh, that she kills you if you absorb anything, which is wrong uh, recommended bringing a calculator, which isn't necessary because you just want to do as much damage as you can. If you don't do if you don't do enough damage um, then she'll just kill you and you'll know that you haven't done enough damage. But otherwise, like, the strategy should just be do as much damage as possible. I don't understand why a calculator is necessary for that. A calculator could help you with Theo or Elizabeth if you're doing the male version or, or chose Elizabeth. Um, because uh, you, when you use Armageddon, you need to be sure that uh, he only has uh, max damage left. Uh, 9999 damage left because otherwise he'll just kill you. Um, but I've al always found it like it's better to just look and guess. It's not that hard. Be about time no. for her to go to the next phase, which is easier. You know, I guess it goes uh, phase one hard, phase two easy, phase three easy, phase four easy, phase five hard. Or like phase two, super easy. So I guess the order is um, hard, easy, medium, easy, hard. Anyway, uh, she got to her fourth phase. And just so you know, um, she's never going to get to her fifth phase because we kill her before then. And it's a good thing we do because that phase is super difficult. She pretty much throws everything at you. But here she just has like the, the fortune uh, personas, the ones that make up Norn. And you can pretty much attack her with anything. Um, I mean, I'm sure there are some limitations, but I've never encountered them. just attack her with my strongest attacks, use attack mirrors, and those bounce right back at her, use magic mirrors, bounce right back at her, it is super easy phase. Um, so it's, it's, uh, it's not, not hard to deal so much damage to her in the fourth phase and the second phase so that she doesn't even make it to the fifth one. And then uh, if she gets past the fifth phase, if she gets to turn 51, then uh, 
She just kills you outright. Um, the Megidoleon one thing that she used there, like I mentioned before, it's different than her, uh, like, Annihilation Megidoleon that she uses, um, with Pixie. Uh, that one's Atropos. So if she's, uh, the, the instep one is, is, is Pixie. But this one is just kind of powerful. But as long as you keep your health up, you shouldn't have any problem with it. Now she could do mind charge and power charge if she wants, but I'm just going to reflect it. Should have stayed in your first phase, Margaret. Then you would have won. <laughs> I, I think it would be impossible to beat her if that was the case. Um, I mean, I, I, I don't know if I even did 5,000 damage to her. But even if I didn't, I make it up in the other phases. And she can't be downed, of course, which makes sense since she's floating. Tone isn't afraid of anything. My heart always drops when, when I see she brings out Megidoleon because I'm like, ah, is it the pixie one? And then Atropos appears and I go, ah, it's okay. Incredible. Thank you. I haven't had that much fun in a long time. You've made me a happy woman. I'll give you this to symbolize how both of our powers touched. Receive Jade Bookmark. I must go now, but I'll leave the Vision Quest Hall open. I'll continue to watch your battles from elsewhere. Stay strong, Katone. My sister seems to be very satisfied. Thank you very much. I have no doubt that she caused you a great deal of trouble, but I ask you to please forgive her. Still, it would seem that you have been strengthened by the ordeal. I would appreciate if you would- You know, this sucks! They fixed the typos! Damn it. <laughs>